A strange cloud phenomenon in the sky coincided with the appearance of a mysterious lake creature in China. Published by Real UFO in May of 2017, CCTV captured both, which were reported in this news clip. The cloud shape looks almost like a hand reaching to grip something. Then again, clouds can often look strange without it meaning something paranormal is going on. But this lake creature is hard to explain away. It disturbs the water's surface at length, appearing to be a long eel or a sea monster. What is this enormous creature? And does its appearance have anything to do with the sky phenomenon? Or is it simultaneously simply a coincidence? Seems suspect to me. While playing a virtual reality game, this dude leveled up. YouTuber Mario Lara posts this video of what appears to be a tiny being entering into his virtual reality. Watch the doorway behind him. At first, it looks like a small child. But it moves too fast to be anything human. Has a figment from this man's game stepped into his reality? I think that may be what's happening here. Or maybe we've all become so digitally disconnected from reality that we're glitching into the matrix. Mind blown. The zombie road in Missouri is purportedly haunted, and YouTube team Soul Searching is investigating it themselves. As they start on the trail, they receive a message from the beyond. I know, that's kind of weird that it said seeds, because that's usually my thing, I bring seeds. It's asking for the seeds and we don't have them, it's going to be angry. I know, because I switched from my camera bag <laughs> too. The YouTuber leaves her camera on while walking, and the audio captures this. A cannon from the Civil War. Could be. Yeah. There's civil war ghost on this room. That really did sound like a cannon to me. Later, they capture an EVP on their digital recorder. That box, that white noise. Can you tell us your name? It's trying, but the Faraday can't. <laughs> can you tell it? Can you tell it? Can you tell? They believe it sounds like I am here, but I'm not sure if I hear that. However, it does sound to me like a whisper. As they continue, another unexplained noise is captured. This voice that they hear sounds rather mechanical. Could it simply be the sound of one of their devices? Well, I can't say for sure that Zombie Road is haunted based on these findings. The ghostly cannon strikes me as a true Civil War curse. Schwinn Protocol wants to remodel his dreary basement, which only has a dirt floor. After digging many layers down, he finds this rusty old entranceway that presumably extends even deeper. He doesn't really have a good feeling about this at all, but he needs to know everything about the basement before he can get the job done, so he has to see for himself what's on the other side. He lifts the heavy cement plug, and white orbs soon follow, though I guess they could also be dust particles. Either way, he is puzzled to find a wide cavern filled with darkness. As his light traces along the rough edges of the floor, he slowly begins to piece together some unnerving observations out loud. Uh, that's probably about a 13 or 15 foot drop. So definitely a bigger person wouldn't be able to fit down there. I can't, wouldn't even be able to fit a ladder down there though, so. So basically, this is a deep hole with an entrance that's too small for an adult, but just the right size to squeeze through a child. I'm not sure what this was really used for, but I do agree that it's weird to have a random hole in your basement that's easy to fall into and tough if not impossible to get out. To be fair, the YouTuber later wrote in the description that he thinks it was part of a drainage system that's no longer in use. Maybe he's right. 
Or maybe he's just trying to explain something that he wishes he never saw. Someone could have spent their entire childhood down there for all we know. This is apparently police dash cam footage from Arizona. The officer is clearly on highway patrol at night, and after a short while, he takes a turn down a dirt road. This is where he spots a woman standing alone in the road with some small embers near her feet. Though it originally appears she is standing with her back turned to the police officer. Soon after, she lifts up her arms, and there appears to be two glowing eyes facing the officer. The footage ends shortly after with no further explanation. I searched but couldn't find any footage of the incident after this part, so we may never know what happened next to this officer or this woman with glowing eyes. Richard Griebnick recorded this creature from inside his home over the summer of 2017. He is on the phone calling a friend named Mike for help, while a large, hunched-over, white humanoid prowls around his backyard. The gargoyle, as Richard describes it, seems to sniff the air from time to time, almost as if it can detect someone's presence nearby. It certainly has the build of a predator, but for some reason it seems hesitant to move forward. If you were wondering why Richard would call his friend instead of the police, I was thinking the same question. But soon it becomes clear that Mike knows how to handle this situation better than anyone. The humanoid creature convulses as Mike unleashes a string of words in an ancient sounding language I have never heard before. If you recognize what is being said here and can translate, please let me know. After Mike is finished speaking, the creature sulks off into the forest where it came from. The event looks very convincing, but I wish that Richard could have zoomed in a little more so we could have gotten a closer look. If this is real though, then he was probably way too scared to worry about camera work, so I definitely understand and still fully appreciate what he was able to record. The Terror Al Extremo crew wanders the abandoned grounds of this haunted witch's house in the middle of a forest, they hear a shrill shriek. <laughs> While it could be human, it could also be harmless. It sounds like a bird call, but shortly after, a figure that they capture in a window seems to suggest otherwise. Are the legends true? Is this the witch that's said to haunt this place? I'm starting to think that it wasn't a bird. This video comes from a supposedly haunted home in Chiefland, Florida. Diane Fraser and her paranormal investigation group attempt to summon the ghost of a child named David by inviting him to play with a toy top. Sure enough, the small piece of plastic soon begins to move on its own. You made sure that zoomed in correctly? It is. Yeah. Okay. I want you to see that. You missed it. Look at that. that. Oh, good, good job. Buddy. Can you get that, Gabby? I am getting... Yes. Yes, there he goes. Whoa. Eventually, Diane feels pains in her stomach and they are able to determine that David was kicked by a horse, possibly centuries ago. I have never seen this ghost equipment or software before, so I'm not sure what the radar screen is for. If this is just a regular tablet with an app, then there really should be no possible way for the top to spin by itself. Bell Tower Bat lives in a haunted hotel that's built upon a series of tunnels that are haunted as well. So she decides to go ghost hunting with the TikTok app and see what reality Ripple shows her. The first thing she notices are a couple antique bottles that seem to have a ghost attached to them. It's an all black aura that is far different from the psychedelic colors that are usually displayed. Now it's time to leave her room and see what else her ghost hunting app has to show her. She doesn't see anything for the rest of the video until she gets to the very last haunted hallway. <laughs> 
A ghostly shadow figure looks at her down the hall and sends her the other way. The reality ripple is still on, so if this was a living person, it should be an orange or purple color. Instead, the shadow person is devoid of color, so either this video was edited, or else it's a real ghost sighting on TikTok. A YouTuber named Connor Does Adventure goes exploring a sewer tunnel that's been abandoned in the middle of the desert. They're kind of nervous but also in the mood to see something crazy. Little do they know what horrors are about to get caught on camera. It's a long walk to get to the old pipe and they keep stopping because they think they hear something. It's funny. No, why you're scaring us. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, it's not funny. That sounds like it could be a frog to me, but maybe not based on what they see next. What? Dude. Oh. <laughs> okay. Oh. Dude, we gotta go! An extra creepy creature slowly stands upright in a strange pose that looks vaguely human. Dude. Stupid, why would you stand? We gotta go, we gotta go! It chases them for a while on all fours and then marches straight towards them. Okay, come on. He's coming. Dude, he's coming. This is beyond creepy, but it's probably one of their friends in an outfit. Dude, do you think he can get past these gates right here? Oh, yeah, dude, look, there's an entrance right there. That's how we... Oh, shoot. Ready? Go! Oh, my gosh! After all, stopping a second time to turn around and record some more doesn't seem realistic. I think most people would be out of there and never look back. A YouTube channel called Exploring with Fighters travels to the same tunnel system as Dark Arts TV. He is explaining his nervous anticipation when a loud scrape occurs directly over his shoulder. No one is near him. You can tell by everyone's distant chatter that they are pretty far away. Listen for yourself and tell me if you agree no one else was nearby. At least, no one alive. I think that this video is going to be far. They all get a really bad feeling upon discovering what could be fragments of human. Look at this part and tell me if he is tossing a part of someone's jaw or just a random piece of debris. I was wondering if these could belong to an animal, but then they discover a large collection of combs left over top. Like this one, for example. So I think we may have sadly found our answer. They are ready to leave before they come across any other horrible discoveries. But something follows them. This extremely creepy low laugh follows them on their way out, while the rest of the audio remains the same. In fact, what's especially scary is how one of these girls lets out a small chuckle shortly before this noise comes out. Almost as if it's laughing in response. Listen for yourself and tell me if you think this is edited or not. A YouTuber named Joey Concialdi is joking around with his friend when he pretends to dive under the covers to be silly. As he is doing so, the thin, bizarre outline of a scrawny shadow person is seen behind him for a split second, and by the time he comes back up, it's gone. Joey is certain that this ghost sighting is real, but I'm wondering if it was just the banister seen a few seconds later. It looks to be in a different position and not as dark, and therefore probably was not it. Leviathan published this video on February 18th, 2016, writing, In March 2015, I went on a hiking trip in the woods of Monrova, Czech Republic. He said after a few hours of walking, he suddenly heard some strange sounds coming from south of him. While walking through a mossy wooded area, he hears a sound echo throughout the forest. The camera shot moves towards the sound, and the fearless hiker decides to enter deeper into the forest to investigate. 
he comes across some tracks that look Bigfoot-esque in the shape of human feet, only bigger. Deciding he'd rather live than come face to face with this creature, he gets the heck out of Dodge. But as he's leaving, the strange call is heard in the forest again. It's almost like the wind is screaming, but the day is absolutely calm. On the way back to his car, he claims that he heard the noise the whole way. While well, guesses as to what this creature might be range from Bigfoot to werewolves, one thing's for certain, stay out of the forest. Cora MK2 is a serious motorcycle enthusiast. With a YouTube channel detailing his many road adventures, one night he is biking across a normal looking bridge in Pasadena, California. When he sees something particularly unsettling, be sure to watch the right side or you'll miss it. You might have missed it anyway, so here it is again. This girl right here, um, she's she's just standing there. She's not walking, she's just standing there. And you can't really It's important to note that the replay was not edited. After I knew where to look, I was able to go back to the original footage and see her easily. Cora MK2 says that the girl was smiling though the camera isn't able to pick up the details of her face. Apparently, so many people have taken their lives on this bridge that it's gotten to a point where they had to install fences as a deterrent. Perhaps this girl was either contemplating taking her life or was the spirit of someone who already has. Wild animals can be incredibly dangerous. Even animals that look as slow and non-menacing as moose are. YouTuber Azeroth6390 discovered that in June of 2007 when he published this video writing, my dad and my grandfather were trying to chase a moose into the forest because it was in a village scaring people. What happened next? Well, see for yourself. The moose is wandering in the forest and you can see a man and his dog head towards it. The shot cuts to three moose running along next to a home, presumably being chased off by someone. While a dog nearby the man filming starts barking, that's when one of the moose has had enough. He clambers through the trees towards the dog and the man filming. The man lets out a crazy bellow, so the moose thinks better of it. Also, he seems to be having a tough time getting through the thick bramble. The moose retreats, and the man filming says, she tried to get us in his native language. Moose can be very dangerous in terms of behavior. They're not as aggressive as bears, but their population size means you are more likely to be injured by one than you are by any bear. According to How Stuff Works in Alaska alone, moose outnumber bears nearly 3 to 1, wounding around 5 to 10 people in the state annually. That's more than grizzly bear and black bear attacks combined. I don't know about you, but I wouldn't want to feel the power of the weight behind those antlers. A YouTuber is suspicious about something to do with the king of rock and roll. Look what happens to his hand right here. Is it a motion blur? Or three extra long alien-like fingers growing outward like some people are saying it is? Okay, so that alone really isn't solid evidence, but what happens next is just bizarre. Watch his assistant's face as he's coming across Elvis's shoulder. The skin goes green and undergoes a facial metamorphosis in which the eyes become black and rectangular, the nose broad flat, and the mouth extra wide. I really hope this is just a camera glitch, but I've really never seen one like it before so I can't explain how. Well, this isn't an extraterrestrial, it very much looks like something straight out of a sci-fi film published by the Mastercaster in December of 2020. This group just caught a lamprey. And an ancient jawless fish with a mouth made of rows of vampire-like teeth. We just caught a lamprey in the Jordan Creek right now. Look at that dude. Oh. The parasitic fish is native to the northern and western Atlantic Ocean, and its funnel-like mouth sucks on all types of fish prey, including catfish, trout, sturgeon, walleye, and more. 
This monster was captured in the group's local creek, but lampreys have also been found in the Great Lake region. Many in the comments are familiar with the lamprey, with commenter John Sparks warning, be careful it will latch onto you. Apparently this thing preys on humans too. A small dog barks its head off at the door while a second one sits quietly like nothing is wrong. After barking for seven seconds, the dog tracks an invisible figure with its head, and then piano music plays, followed by a faraway voice soothingly saying the word deer. According to the uploader, they did not hear this piano music or the voice until they watched this video. In fact, the only reason they started recording in the first place was because one dog was barking and not the other. Nobody else was in the house, and this was just before 3 a.m. Warning to young explorers, don't enter abandoned malls at night. Jaskin Ho published this footage in September of 2018, illustrating exactly why, explaining that the mall in question is Charlestown Outlet Mall in the US. He writes, This is an older video I thought I'd drop for you guys. The mall closed for good over 30 years ago, and I did record a video here before, but there was talk about the basement level, so we went in. While the first nine minutes reveal your typical exploring of the abandoned mall, nine minutes in, one of the crew peers into a dark room beyond, and that's when he hightails it out of there, followed closely by the rest. One of the bunch says they were running for nearly five minutes. According to the one who first ran, he saw someone in the room beyond. Although the video didn't capture the figure, we can only imagine what this group came across. And with that in mind, I think they made the right choice getting out of their ASAP. In this video, two planes appear to be carelessly flying way too close to each other for almost a full minute and I don't know why. I can't believe this would be planned, but at the same time I can't believe none of the passengers on a commercial airliner are screaming if this is happening. I've never flown a plane before, but I know that you're way too close when you can see what color shirt the pilot of the other plane is wearing. Someone tell me what's going on here, because it looks like total chaos in my opinion, but also possibly planned, like maybe a formation for an air show or something. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.